Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I'm going to tell you about types of numbers. So, let's get started with even numbers. What are even numbers? The whole numbers that can be divided by 2 without a remainder are called even numbers. These numbers can be identified by the last digit of the numbers. And if you see, the last digit of these numbers will be either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Now, look at these examples. If you see carefully, the last digit is one of the above digits mentioned in the statement. So then this can be concluded as an even number. The next type of numbers are the odd numbers. These are opposite to even numbers. The whole numbers that has a remainder when divided by 2 are called odd numbers. These numbers also can be identified by looking at the last digit. Or we, can, we say the digit in the units place. If the digit in the units place is 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, these are called odd numbers. And look at these examples for further clarification. If you see carefully, the last digits are either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Now, let us spot the even numbers and odd numbers in this box below. There is a set of numbers like this. And now we are going to spot out which are the odd numbers and what are the even numbers. Look at the last digit. The only thing you have to do is to look at the last digit. Now here I have circled with blue the even numbers. If you see carefully the last digits are 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. And the remaining are then will be odd numbers. So let's circle the odd numbers with red like this. Next, we are going to see into another type of numbers that is prime numbers. The numbers greater than 1 that have only two distinct factors are called prime numbers. Now, if you take a prime number, it has only two factors. Now, you might think what is a factor? Remember, factors are the numbers by which we can divide a number without a remainder. And at the same time, you can find factors by writing a number as a product of two numbers. Let us see how to do that. If you take 2. Now, 2 can be written as a product of two numbers as 2 into 1. So, then we say factors of 2 are 1 and 2. So, 2 has only two factors. Therefore, 2 become a prime number. And you have to remember 2 is the only even prime number. And moving on to another one, it is 7. 7 into 1 is the only possible way of writing 7 as a product of two numbers. So, 7 also has only two factors that is 1 and 7. Therefore, 7 also become a prime number. Now, let us see what are composite numbers. Composite numbers are again opposite to prime numbers. Prime numbers has only two factors. Composite numbers has more than two factors. Now, if you take a number like 9, it can be written as 1 into 9 and then 3 into 3. So, there are two possible ways of writing 9 as a product of two numbers. So, therefore, 1, 3, 9 are factors of 9. So, it has more than two factors. Therefore, 9 becomes a composite number. Let's look into another example that is 24. 24 can be written as 1 into 24 as you know and it can be also written as 2 into 12 like this. Then it can be written as 3 into 8 and also 4 into 6. So, factors of 24 can be 1, 24 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. It, I can write it in the ascending order like this. And then it has so many factors. So, 24 is also a composite number. <coughs> the next type of number we are going to look into is the square numbers. What are these square numbers? The numbers obtained by multiplying a number by the same number are called square numbers. That is, these numbers can be also arranged as squares. Now look here, first square has one dot, so one into one. Second has two into two. 
third has 3 into 3 that is 9, 4 into 4. If you need the fifth square number, it will be 5 into 5, 25. If you need the sixth square number, it will be 6 into 6, 36 and so on. So, all what you need to get a square number is to multiply the number by the same number and make sure you can arrange this number in a square. The next type of number we are going to look into is triangular numbers. Now, if square numbers can be arranged in squares, triangular numbers can be arranged in triangles. It is very simple. The numbers that can be arranged in a triangle are called triangular numbers. Now, here you see some triangular numbers. The first four triangular numbers are given here. 1, 3, 6 and 10. The number of dots I have written uh, below. So, if you need to get the first triangular number, you have to take the first triangular number is 1. Second triangular number is 1 plus 2 that is 3 and the third triangular number will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 and the fourth triangular number is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 4 you have to add that is 10 and if you need the uh, seventh triangular number suppose you need the seventh triangular number what you have to do is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 you have to add up to 7 to get the seventh triangular number hope i made myself clear with types of numbers and how to find out the types of numbers and so on. So see you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.